I'm Mark Bernstein, president of Earthshot. We are a nonprofit inspiring people to take action on climate change through presenting a positive clean tech vision of the future. So mostly the technology you hear about today are things like solar, wind, batteries, and electric vehicles. And they're gonna do a lot to impact climate change. What a lot of people don't know is that there are countless technological solutions that will help fight climate change. With entrepreneurs coming up with really clever ways to solve problems. Things like how buildings use energy, what we can do to reduce them. One of them is to actually build the building more efficiently to start with. Vantum Global is building modular buildings using structurally insulated panels and being able to take these pieces and go to a site and put together the buildings. It's more efficient, it saves on waste, and cheaper to build. Within the building and construction industry, people might think of the carbon footprint of raw materials like steel and wood, but then they don't think about the carbon footprint of things like concrete. Just the cement itself, making cement, is 8% of all the greenhouse gases emitted in the world. You know, the Romans built with cement thousands of years ago, and there are still buildings that last today, and they were near zero carbon cement. The problem with the old Roman cement was it took too long to set. So Green Cement Company has figured out how to take the old Roman technologies and have it set just as fast as current technology. And they can build buildings that are gonna last a thousand years. Carbon Cure is a company that is taking recycled CO2, using their process to embed it into cement, keeping it there, sequestering it for the life of that cement. The technology I think is really promising, but is not quite as sexy, are things that relate to recycling infrastructure. The things are really critical to help us run our lives, but they're not necessarily consumer facing, so we don't think about it as much. We hear a lot about methane being produced, but not a lot about the solutions to reduce that use. In natural gas production, a lot of leaks happen at the source of the valves. Valve Technologies has a zero leak valve that can go into these harsh conditions where natural gas facilities are and eliminate leaks from the valves itself. Anything that we can do to bring attention to new and emerging technology is something that can help to drive funding opportunities in that direction. It can give us the opportunity to inspire the next generation. Next Energy Technologies not only is making a more efficient window, but they're making a window that's embedded with solar cells so that you can actually produce electricity while having a normal looking window. And so not only are you using less energy inside the building, you're actually creating energy to offset the energy you need to get from someplace else. Dandelion Energy is making a super efficient geothermal technology. They lay pipes down in the ground, use the change in temperature between the ground and the air to give you heating and air conditioning solutions to your home that doesn't use any outside energy. AeroSeal has technology that they can blow through a sealant through the ductwork, seal it up, saving lots of energy, reducing the amount of heating and air conditioning you need to make inside the building. And Verit technology is a filtering system that allows you to filter out lots of bad stuff that's coming into the air, allows you to circulate the air better. So you've got a healthier indoor environment at the same time, you're able to actually reduce the amount of heating and cooling energy you need to satisfy that environment. And we need to make the building smarter. And we need to be able to predict what's happening. And that's what 75F does. They take AI and data and actually predict what's going to happen in the building coming up so your HVAC system can be ready for that. So you don't overcool or overheat, and you don't undercool and underheat. The company Nano Al is making lighter weight aluminum alloys using scientifically developed nanostructures to create materials that are gonna make cars super lightweight. If the public gets excited about that, it makes it much more likely that they have the ability to succeed. So I think it's a very exciting time because 10 years ago we didn't really have the technology to be able to support significant change, and now we do. Many companies in the clean tech space struggle to find investors, they struggle to find customers. And that's because everybody is still looking for the big silver bullet. So part of the challenge in climate communications is to help make the invisible parts 
visible. At Earthshot, we are increasing the visibility of these technologies by doing a number of things. First is a clean tech showcase, and we're going to show off some technologies to policymakers and investors. And the other is a portal, a basic database incorporating all the technologies we can find, not just in the U.S., but globally. With this clean tech portal, we're able to search a very specific technological solution that will help contribute. It's designed for the average person to find out what's available, for investors to figure out what they can invest in, customers to find solutions to their climate change problems, foundations and governments to figure out what they can fund, where they can put research dollars, and how they can help move it forward. All of these people are the ones that are going to be creating these solutions and implementing these solutions. And so we need to get people's hearts and minds behind all of the technology. Otherwise, how are we going to use this technology for the betterment of our environment? Anything that's under the radar today might be completely mainstream tomorrow. We need every great idea that we can get, and we need to move them forward collectively as quickly as possible. The future of solving our climate issues are going to come from young entrepreneurs and people with exciting new technologies. They're not going to accelerate if we don't give them a platform for showcasing who they are and what they do and provide a positive vision for the future using technology that can solve the climate problems.